and we're talking about local comic shop day local comic shop day is november 23rd 2019 it's a celebration of all these local comic shops it's been going on this is the fifth year they've been doing it so make sure if you check with your local comic shop see if they're participating localcomicshopday.com we'll put a link to the description that has all the releases but jack's going to highlight some right now yeah, one of the reasons why we did this show, um, we got a lot of hate from the speculators and the speculation community, but we do this show not just for speculators and the, everything we do on this channel, we do it for the retailers, the publishers, the creators, the collectors, everyone out there. And Local Comic Shop Day is a great example of something that helps out your local comic shop. Now, of course, like Brian said, Local Comic Shop Day is at the end of November, but this weekend is the last weekend before this Monday's FOC date for these shops to get their orders in and to be able to participate in Local Comic Book Shop Day. Now, Local Comic Shop Day has a lot of exclusive releases just for those shops. And again, this is brick and mortar stores only, not the online store. So if there's a store that's an online only store, they will not be able to participate. Um, you get to see things like hardcovers, bundles, uh, exclusive variants, and trade paperbacks. And some that I've got here to highlight to let you know and give you an example of what you can expect from Local Comic Shop Day. Um, DC Comics is releasing Deceased, a hardcover, with that great Matina uh, Joker cover that they did with the variant cover. There's only going to be 1,400 in print. Um, it's also going to have the one-shot, the Deceased one-shot that they did included in that hardcover. Image Comics is really going hard. A lot of the indies go real hard on local comic shop day. They've got Super Dinosaur number one, a new printing with that, uh, you know, commemorate the Amazon release of Robert Kirkman series and also Robert Kirkman series Walking Dead and they did a digital only special one shot that Brian K. Vaughn did they are going to release a print version of that for local comic shop day um, another great thing about local comic shop day is you get an opportunity to see some new series is coming up some variants of some up and coming series is one from Image Comics is Philadelphia and that's from Jason Sean Alexander who you may recognize from his work on Spawn. And Mad Cave is doing their wrestling story over the ropes, which I could not be more excited about. And there will be an exclusive variant for local comic shop day. Marvel, of course, participates. You've got a New Mutants number one variant with a print run of a thousand. Um, and uh, Absolute Carnage number five, a uh, print to order variant. So shops can order as much as they want. That one should be cover price, but for every 20 copies they order, they will get a limited variant. And in the past, those limited variants have gone for big money if the issue has been a key issue. And there's a good chance Absolute Carnage number five could be just that. Um, Boom is doing something really unique. They're releasing a Power Rangers blind box. Inside this box, you will get the hardcover for Shattered Grid, the story that really blew up Mighty Morphin Power Rangers with Boom Studios. You are also going to get a Power Rangers number 42 exclusive local comic book shop, Dave Varian. And here's where the blind box part comes in. You're going to get two random Power Rangers variants from Boom. We don't know what they are. Could they be incentives? Could they be... Uh, con exclusives could they be store exclusives we just don't know and that's going to be the fun in it um also we talked about trade paperbacks vault comics is releasing a special gold edition trade paperback for these savage shores their landmark series so there's more releases we're going to have them listed on simplemanscomics.com there's a link in the description that's going to allow you to go to the local Comic Shop Day website and see the rest of the releases. But that gives you an idea of some of these exclusive and exciting releases that you're going to be able to see in your shop. But do your shop a favor. Let them know this weekend if there's any of these releases that you really want to get your hands on. That lets them know that you want A, want them to participate. And B, you want a specific release so they can make sure that they order those because it's tough for shops to know what to order and how much they're going to need, and you can really aid your shop by letting them know what you're interested in. Right, and it's important to know, we, although Local Comic Shop Day is November 23rd, they are going to have the list of participating comic shops on their website by October 15th. So to sign up for it, seems like the deadlines are fastly approaching, so that's why we're bringing it up now and all those great releases. So make sure you guys check with your local comic book stores make sure they're participating in Local Comic Shop Day. And if not, let them know you're interested.